Welcome to another episode of Beyond the White Book. I'm Dark Nodge, and I am joined by Aaron Glazer. We are going to build a deck, and we're going to do so in our normal way. So, Aaron, it is your turn to choose the faction. What would you like? Uh, we built a House Stark Fealty deck before that we never really did anything with, so I think we'd like to explore, explore Stark some more. All right. I'm going to throw you a bone, because you're a lion lover, so I'm going to say that let's banner that to the lion and see how it does. Huzzah! Great, the deck can start building. So, we always start with our fealty house. And this one should be pretty easy, because I think we're going to run some serious Lannister characters. Yeah, seems like it. I mean, some serious Lannister cards overall, really, right? Um, Tyrion Lannister, three out. The Hound times two? So, let's talk about Tyrion. This guy may be the most powerful card in the whole game, in my opinion. He is one of the major reasons the banner to Lannister. His gold generation in the challenge phase is, like, broken good, right? It allows for all sorts of tricks. I don't know if it's broken, but especially given that uh, Stark lacks intrigue, it's absolutely necessary. With the limited economy in this game, it is so good. But I totally agree with you as well on two of the Hound. Um powerful character that bounces around that ambush is just such a nice surprise we're obviously going to be running sir jamie lannister to get some of that non nearly military in a decent mm -hmm. card two of laser uh two or three i think we start with two and if we need to go up again um we both like to have at least three of the reducer from the other faction mostly as chuds so i mean not at least three well, three is all we're allowed so we always yeah because if we were allowed more we would do that right yes and then I think we run a tickler because treachery should be in the deck. I agree. And it makes it easier to trigger with the tickler. Now, do we want any of the attachments from the house? You mean uh, the one of nice? I think a one of is fine. Because we're, um, I'm going to put forth an argument, I believe, that we should be running some Serios training and some uh, little birds. Okay, well, I think we have to look at the rest of our character base before we find out which icons we have these huge holes in. Right now, oh. we're looking pretty good on the Intrigue, but, I mean, we haven't looked at Stark yet. Right, I have logic that we will get to. Let's add one Widow's well for now. We can always go up if we need to. Sounds good. So we have currently 12 cards. Uh, let's talk events. Okay. Um, I don't think I want things I do for love. It's too hard to trigger with the Lord and Lady uh, need. We only got like five of them, really. If we had one or two more, I could see putting it in. But for um, now, we want Treachery, right? We want two Treachery, I think. Or do we want three? Treachery is one of the best events in the game. Um, two or three is a tough call here. How about we start with two? Let us have 14 Lannister cards, and we'll figure out if we want to move to three once we see the rest of the deck. I agree. Now over to Stark and Neutral, right? Yeah. And neutral. Starting right. with characters again? Yeah. Ariane, stealth, free dupe, three of. Yeah. Three of, because you'd like to see two on set up if you're going to see any. And Bran is a event canceling master. I love this guy. I think we need to run three. I believe it. What about Caitlyn? She's an interesting beast. Very she... interesting. Powerful ability. It's tough sometimes to play her. She's good with serious training that you were talking about earlier. She turns off a lot of burn, and Targaryen is everywhere. Uh, I think with that, we need to run at least two, and I'm actually buying into the serious training. So that makes three. Um, so I'm going to explain the serious training for now. I, I generally like to run two in my star effects, which I know sounds like a lot, but it's got so many good targets given that... Um, Bran is there. Well, my start blind deck specifically. It's incredible on Catelyn. It lets you use and kill that dupe on Arya without worrying. And on Tyrion with that stealth, it's incredible. Yeah. Alright, so Direwolf Pop. We don't want to... Do we want these guys? They're cheap. No. No. That's the Not a... reason. I feel like we have enough going into Lannister that we don't need them. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I'd, I'd rather run a Burn Man than a Dire Wolf Pup at this point. Yeah. Uh, on to Eddard. This is why Eddard and Rob are why I want that uh, little bird. 
I feel like if we can keep Ed Eddard is an incredible power generating machine. If you we have saw that in our last match where we used him as a giant Voltron, um, not super good for us in the end, but it was fun. If he had so that intrigue icon, kind of, it would have been great for us. So two Ed. Um, I think two Ed seems right. One you Greywind. Mentioned, you mentioned Rob, so with Rob, Greywind is a beast to behold. I'm thinking one or two. I'll go for one for now. We'll talk about two later. I like one because I'm trying not to be too vulnerable to Tears of Lists, which I think is going to be everyone. Oh, we got Bran. He helps out. Um, and we're going to be running Little Birds, right? Yes. Um, I like, for now, I'm assuming three Little Bird and two Serious Trainings, but let's see how that shakes out. Um, one Maester Lewin, okay? Normally I hate this guy. But we're planning on running three Rob, aren't we? Yeah, we're running three Rob. And the, the immune to plot effects on Bran isn't half bad if they try and wildfire him away. Yeah, and the insight on Rob is just so nice, because Stark really does have some limited draw when you banner. We <laughs> might want to consider this guy a two of. I like a one of. I think one is plenty. Well, what's your what's your logic behind one of? Uh, we're probably going to be running this, our standard package, which includes the... Counting coppers and summons, so we should be able to find what we need. Okay, then what's we the also, reason to run one of them? Um, one of, if we see him, great. If we don't, fine. But he's still efficient at three for two injury power. So he's a you're good afraid fight. of him being dead draw later when he dies? Is that the reason uh, why yeah, I'm only he's, running one? Uh, yes, I'm assuming he's almost immediately point so if um if we need point so He's okay. not someone I want to hesitate to kill for fear of a dead dude. All right. I like I don't that think logic that. a little bit better once you've explained it. Um, so, we talked we about help. Rob. Wait, sorry. I've got neutral up too. I don't think we need rattle shirts in this deck because you've got so many key characters that, like, milking one, if there's six that are all of about equal importance, means a lot less. Yeah, and we're probably still going to run the old confiscation, right? Yeah. So, no rattle that. shirt. I don't like Three. rattle shirts, so. I do. It's fine. Three Rob? Three Rob. Sansa's surprisingly good. I think we have to run at least one of her, maybe two. Uh, let's start with one. If we go up, we go up. So she's just this nice extra power generation. Mm -hmm. And like... she's other target for serious training. Yeah, I like Summer uh, as a one of. I agree. Uh, I think she can, you know, get us a little bit of recursion, bring Bran back. Yeah, his, job. his job's to get us Bran. We got uh, Tumblestone Knights. This is the Stark's major chud, so I think we're going to run three of. Yep, 100%. Military power, two icons on a good chud, and then three Winterfell Steward, because we always run three of them because they're so good for setup. Yep, I agree. So we, we skipped the Vanguard of the North. They're a monocon. That's our major reason. We're not going to be playing a ton of war plots. I don't think this is the type of deck that runs Ferris. Um, I don't so either. Wildling Horde is super hard to find. This actually leaves us at a really nice 35 characters, which is the place I'd actually been playing around a little bit more and the more i play i'm starting to find that 35 characters is my limit if i can get 38 or even 39 characters into a deck i am happy anywhere but lannister i agree sometimes if your main house is lannister because their big guys have a little bit better staying power i go a little lower but generally yeah. speaking yeah i want 35 ish i've gone down to 34 but no lower really all right well, how about we talk some locations, because those should be easy. Um, Rosewood, Rosewood, King's Road. Rosewood, King's Road. We want to run a Gates. Um, the, it doesn't hurt Carly. Well, let's see. How many non -star what What's our chance of pulling well, a Stark character or Stark card with Gates? I've got a better idea for Gates. Why don't we fill out the rest of the deck, sands like two spots, and then see if we want Gates. That sounds like a good idea, so we can do a proper count on the number of Stark cards. Uh, do we want a Heart of Tree? I'd say two of. Heart Tree Grove? Well, I chose Wolfswood like an idiot, thinking that they are the Heart uh, I've done that four group. times. I've, I've actually done that and not noticed until the middle of the game. So I'm not so um, I think we want three, right? We want nine limited locations to keep being able to um. produce out Chuds. I think we have enough high-cost Lannisters that two is probably better than three. And I'm, not quite, I'm not quite sure on the, the logic of that. I mean, we're talking about three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
like 11 characters that are Lannister in the rest, all being Stark. True. Okay. So Seven locations. Four. All right. You're right. We, up to three. We're always seem to be not drawing enough oomph to put player guys, so I think the economy will really make a difference. All right. Events. Yeah. So, winter is coming. Time this three. is Stark staple. I think we're going to run three of. It's one of the main reasons you play this uh, Stark. It's great. Um, because we have sword. Tyrion, I think we want some put to the sword, right? Probably three yeah. of. Yeah, I think three of. Tyrion means three, otherwise I run two and Stark. Yeah. Um, I think we're done there. Yeah, I agree. I, mean, I think that's a good event package. All over to attachments. I mean, Hands Judgment would be the only other one I would think about, but we got Bran. Yeah. He's like a walking Hands Judgment. We'll go. And we've got the direct kill, so that uh, while Tears is nice, it's not strictly needed. So speaking of direct kill, uh, one of our first attachments that we can pick here is Ice. I like it as a 2 of. Me too. This pick your direct kill, and the only reason it's not 3 of is because the cost. 3 cost is a little bit prohibitive to play. Um, sometimes, so. What do you think a lady? One of, at least. Yeah, she can bounce around and stand some Sansa, which helps us out, too. I like her. So we talked about Littleburg, and we talked about Ciro's training. Uh, we said two. Three and two. Littleburg, three, three and two. Is that okay with you? I've already actually clicked it, so we're so, in agreement. Okay. Um, let's just talk quickly about the use of each. Um, Littleburg... Sorry, before... Just so you know, we're looking at 61 cards right now. Um, um, yeah, let's talk about these. So, Sirius training is phenomenal. Like, it's got two key targets. It's absolutely excellent on Catelyn. It's absolutely excellent on um, Tyrion. They're both three elves. In addition, it'll go on any of the one-drop weenies, Arya, Bran, or Sansa. Or Lewin. Ooh, Lewin might get cut, huh? Let's not um, forget setup, right? Yeah. The setup on this is great. You know, it's low cost, it's just one, lets us set up better. That's a big big bonus. Yeah. And then Little Bird is largely to keep Rob alive. I feel like I'd almost rather a third editor if we're gonna run three little birds over that Lewin. I'm not sure that Eddard and Lewin are a very different cost curve, though I do you know, I have to say I like the the third Eddard. He's our only seven coster. Rob's a six. We're only running two Jamie. And it wouldn't be horrible for us to do that. Um, I think either way, it's a it's a marginal change. The 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 draw is nice though. Well, before we go there, let's uh if it's only draw if we get it out at the same time as Rob and keep him alive. Yep. Lewin, that is. So it's it's very, very conditional because we're almost certainly not running the Maester plot because the Lannister Maester is loyal. Um, thinking of that third Rob, but before we go anywhere near there, let's leave that number alone for now, now that we're basically done. Um, since we're out of space, there's no point really looking at other attachments. Um, do we want... How many start cards are we at? So we can determine if we want that to make space for that uh, draw. We got six in locations and events, plus another three for nine in attachments, and then we have 20-ish characters, we'll say. So, like 30, like half our deck. Eh. I think I'd run a one of. I don't want more than one, but a one doesn't hurt, does it? Kind of iffy on it. What are we going to cut for that? Yeah, I think I'd rather just have the third rob and deal with not having gates. Well, we have three robs. Sorry, the third editor. Yeah. Yeah, so you'd rather cut the Lewin and just have a third editor. Is there anything else we'd rather cut? No, I mean, Lewin's the cut. I'm just impartial on whether it's him or editor. So because I'm I impartial have... and you want to do it, let's do it. Wait, wait, wait. I have one other thing we can cut that we should probably discuss. Um, it's a non setup card, but it's a good card. What do you think of cutting summer? Cutting summer. Summer I mean, can still be set up. Like, I know yeah. you don't get the ability, but there's nothing wrong with setting up summer. True, but then it's just a three for three military chug. So it's not 
I don't like monocons as a rule. Um, they just limit what you can do in challenges. And getting Brand back is great, but we are running. Summers also draw, right? If Brand's in play. Uh, Summers only draw if we win that power challenge. I feel like Lewin is slightly better draw. Summers because... draw if we win the military challenge, which we should be pretty strong no, no, no. at, especially with the Serum of Trainees. No, Summers draw if. Bran. Oh, he gains insight. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And, and Bran's that little one-drop weenie, so that insight's there, but it's not very likely to trigger. While yeah. Lewin needs to win a challenge with Rob, and if Rob's not winning challenges, we're doing something wrong. Uh, oh. You know, the other... honestly, I'm almost at the point where I just run both of them and cut the Edward down to two. It, I'm fine with that. Sure. Let's see how Edward plays. We can always go up later. Okay. Um, noble cause and Cobble Restoros as usual. Yeah. Yeah. There are a number of nobles in this deck. I'd almost look at two noble cause. We'll get back to that. Let's talk okay. about some of our other choices. So we said we were going to go with a confiscation, correct? We also said we are going with counting coppers and summons. So... So why the summons? We have a ton of good characters. Are we looking for a specific one? We're looking for specific characters at specific times. Against certain matchups, some characters are better than others, and some characters are worse. If we're playing against, for example, a Targ deck, we might want to go digging for Kappa, because she's functionally impossible to her character. And she can shut off a lot of brain. If we're playing against Greyjoy... We might want to go get Tyrion for that extra stealth, or Eddard for that extra stand. Same thing for Breaking. We're also very short draw, and we're running 27 non-characters. No, sorry. 18, yeah. 26 non-characters. Sometimes we're just going to need to find a body. Alright, well we got two more plots left. Um, um, March should be one, no? Marsh is good. It's the one I was considering. But it's only good if we're going to actually put some pressure on the person's face. Um, I don't think we need heavy claim for that, given that we have Poots of the Sword, Winter is Coming, and Ice. I feel like we want one two claimer. I know you want another noble cause. I uh, No, you're right. But if you want that 5-11-2 sneak attack, I can see it. I don't think we can afford to run both Counting Coppers and Winds of Winter. Nope. I was thinking Sneak. How about we try that? Let's try Sneak. Um, then do we want, are you sure we want March? Yeah, I think so. A Sneak followed by a March is the, the gravy. Okay. Given our setup, do we want Calm over a second Noble? I would drop Calm for a second Noble. Okay. Let's do that. Given... So, I just want to... For listeners, viewers, whatever, pick a word. Arya, Bran, Catelyn, Eddard, Rob, Sansa, Jamie, Tyrion are all lords and ladies. That's a lot. <laughs> so we can afford to... And two calm means you, even if we open with it, which I'm usually not a fan of, we can afford to get that hit by naval superiority because then we just come back and do it again. Shrug. Take it on the chin for a turn. Alright, save and download.